Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and I'm currently in the tub with Dead in Finland. Or maybe it should be called Dead in America, because if I'm able to pull on the small amount of information I retained from school, I'm pretty sure Finland is North America, as the Vikings knew it. When they uh, landed there a few hundred years before Christopher Columbus, they decided it would sound better as Finland rather than America. But still, I I'm not totally sure on that, but um, I think so. Um, so it's, it's weird actually what your brain can remember. I can remember that and I can remember like the lyrics to the to the Walmart Yoda boy lyrics But um, I mean algebra not a chance. Um, so anyway, let's get on with this This was released on the 12th of April 2018 and it's priced at 15 pound 49p However, there is a 10% discount that runs on dead in Vinland and that runs until the 19th of April 2018 and that brings it down to 13 pounds and 94p now this is developed by a studio called CCCP, um, I don't know what that stands for, I can hazard a guess though, maybe it's uh, mm, cool Cucumbers Celestial Penguins, or something like that. Um, so what is this game, let me just click through here, I love how this moves. So this is a survival management game, um, where you take on the role of Vikings who have landed on the shores of Vinland, and uh, I mean you just gotta survive and there's all different elements you know like you know I think you sort of know what I mean maybe you need to make a deal with, a, with an enemy so maybe pay him off or he'll kill your women and children or something like that you gotta survive and manage oh mate maybe I was right about the penguin part um, but yeah so the devs of this game also released a game a few years ago called Dead in Bermuda I didn't play it but I looked at it and it looks exactly the same <laughs> just with like a different uh, a different theme so this is all about Vikings and rather I think that on that one you were crash landed in Bermuda I don't know but check it out maybe it's good and um, let's just jump into a new game go in slot one what oh, this looks like quite a rugged man I like this slot icon um, name your profile it doesn't seem like much but you will most likely feel rewarded with a sense of pride and accomplishment <laughs> uh, do I have to pay for it Okay, bathtub, sir. I mean, what else are we gonna go for? Choose your challenge. A nice vacation. I say it's, it's quite rimworldish, isn't it? Um, it's far too harsh now. We'll go on survival. The, the game, the, the way the game is intended to be played. Yes, we need a tutorial. The Vikings don't need no checkpoints now. We're gonna go for all this stuff. That's good. I hope we get to name our Vikings. I've always had simple needs. Okay. So he's horny and hungry. A roof. Oh, a roof. A family. A peaceful life. Wow, okay. But like the skulls sing, you can't always get what you want. I was getting what darkest dungeon vibes. Was fire and steel. Kill the bastard! They screamed. Luckily, we were warned in time. I can't forget the tears of my beloved Bloody Wed when they burned down our house. Our memories. I yelled, drop these bags and row if you want to live. So were they like exiled from their previous they community? On a stolen boat, with no map and no destination. They didn't bother to follow us. I wonder what they did. For what? This is how our miserable journey began. We drifted for days. Depressed. Hungry. Lost. Shit, maybe I'm a Viking. We thought we had reached the end of the world. When the gods sent us the most terrible storm, our fate was decided. Death. Oblivion. Then. We saw it coming out of nowhere. Salvation? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Good old USA. Dirty tricks. I appreciate this opening though. The gods are playing with us. But I just know that we must survive. Yeah, man. I'm with you. I'll do my best I can to help you. Dead in Vinland. Nice. Well, I didn't know there was uh, going to be quite so much context here. I like it. That's a really cool opening cinematic. I like the animation. It's nice. Right, so we've washed up on the shores of maybe Florida. Or depending where we came from, Maine, maybe? Are we at the top? I don't know. Um, I don't know anything about America. Right, for reasons they cannot fathom. All longboat. Oh, a longboat lost in the storm. An island from map unknown. 
Wind, waves, and thunder. Okay. The boat torn asunder. <laughs> oh, God, it took ages to load up. What's up, Eric? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I mean, I'm very jealous of them cheekbones. My God, great cheese on them. Oh, oh shit, your fucking awful wife's name. Blunawed? Carrie? Moira? Where are you? We're here, honey. We're fine. Odin be praised. The All Father hasn't completely abandoned us, it seems. I wouldn't have bet on it considering the last turn of events. Yeah, maybe everything happens for a reason. Carrie, are you alright, my child? Oh no, she <laughs> she looks incredibly edgy. Yeah, Mum, I'm great. Our home burned, <laughs> and the George's best storm in our asses, and Dad's perfect landing on the sharp rocks of an unknown island. A perfect day. Holy crap. <laughs> Do you want to cut the attitude? <laughs> Uh, comfort her, joke with her, scold her. Let's just crack a joke. We can make her laugh and we can diffuse all the anger. In our misery, we can be thankful that we didn't get the jeweled rod up our asses. Believe me, honey. Ugh, gross. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't seem like how a young Viking teenager would speak. But, oh wait, we lowered her depressant. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. That's good. Brilliant. Yeah, well, that's cute and all, but what do we do now? Do you have an idea where we are, Eric? No, we drifted far to the west over many days, to the end of the world as we know it. So we're on the west coast, are we? Of course, if we're Vikings, we would have come from sort of uh, England way, wouldn't we? <laughs> I'm trying to act like I know what I'm on about, but I'm not. Um, never heard of an island that far to the west. I don't think any Norsemen ever went there. We should explore the vicinity and see if we can find someone that can help us. Oh wait, these are two different people. Oh fuck me, Myra. I thought you were Bluda Woodu. Oh god, so you must be twins or something, right? Surely. I hope that someone doesn't turn out to be a frost giant or worse. We'll see. The family, still disorientated by the shipwreck, started to look around. They decided to walk away from the sad remains of their ship and to explore the woods. The forest was as silent as themselves. The atmosphere was getting tense when, look, over there, a track. Carrie rushed to take the path and the others followed her. What are we going to find? A big elk? A big fuck off elk to feast on? They continued like this for almost an hour when they finally found the end of the path outside the forest. A wooden shack just here. Doesn't seem to be inhabited though. It's ours now. Look for survivors. Mm. Hmm. I mean, do we just lay claim to what we see? That seems like quite like a, 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 a Norse Viking mindset. It's ours now. Find us keepers? Yeah, we'll take it. What do we do now? There's no hope of turning back to our home. Only fire and steel await us there. So we must start a new life here. It may be a land of new possibilities for us, as long as we stick together. Hell yeah. Are we a romance option? Oh, we're just loving everyone. I'm thankful to Frigg to be able to endure this hardship with my husband, my dear sister and my daughter. Yes, yeah, so she's definitely a sister. Okay. Right, so this seems like a lot of good stuff. I'm seeing plus fives and hearts. Just a happy family, right? The Robinsons. Without my family, I wouldn't have the will to fight and live. We're here for you, sister. Always. Oh, <laughs> Ten. Jesus Christ. I'm not having any sort of interaction with this. But I still hope this cursed island is inhabited. Time will be very long for us if it's just the four of us. Did you just wink? Did she wink? And we'll need husbands if we want to repopulate the island. Right, Carrie. Oh, look, she winked again. <laughs> That's great. Stop raising your eyebrows like that. It's pervy. Stop it. Um, okay, fine. Ugh, no way, ever. You can stay in bed with your dirty dreams. I'm going to explore this island and make it mine. Listen, everyone, now is not the time for jokes. We still have plenty to do if we want to survive. We still have enough pot uh, potable water for a few days if we ration ourselves, but we qu can't rely on that. I found two big barrels that we can use in containers for our water. Oh, fuck me, everyone's just coming up Eric, isn't it? You found a hut, you found some barrels for water? Don't forget, don't drink the water coming from the rivers before boiling it, you'd be sick to death. Yes, even I know that. Uh, so that means we need to build a fire, quickly. I only have one fire mushroom left. Here, take it, a fire mushroom? Can we not just get some kindling together, tinder? Good, we need to build a lot of things we want to settle here. I'll set up a workshop with a few tools so we can work quietly. But we'll need resources, wood, stone, ropes. We have to make the rope, surely. We can scavenge wood from our ship for now. We still had a bit of food left on it too. We should go fetch it. Yes, but it won't last long. We mustn't rely on that too much. I looked around and found some things we can use. Check it out, man. We got some wood. 
Yes, what else we got? Rope. Nice. Some food? Stone. I mean, I could, you only found two stones. Good job, Carrie. I, I mean, I imagine there's stones everywhere. We should explore the surroundings some more. We may find food, resources, and whatnot. And beasts and traps. And I agree we should explore, but be careful. We don't know what to expect. Let's start working on this camp. We have plenty to do. There we go. Okay. Dead in Vinland is a turn-based game, so you can always take your time to... Oh, fuck me. Slow down, you. Popping off. Game save. Thank you. You can always take your time to think. I love how, like, the... The foreground moves like this. Each day is divided into three phases, morning and afternoon, during which your characters can perform various tasks on the camp, and the night where they discuss, eat and drink, and rest. Okay, rest. Winky face. Um, a little before the next day. Alright, they're in the morning. We can do whatever we want. Uh, so we will get rid of that. Your most critical resources are your fire and your water. Always keep an eye on their level. We have no fire. Why would fire be a critical thing? We can just make it. We've got fire mushroom. We get some firewood. Anyway, click on this button to access water and fire management. Right now, the fire is completely off. You can light the fire using five wood and one tinder. Okay, and we have 15 wood and one tinder. Once lit, you need to feed it some wood, and when its intensity, uh, when its intensity decreases. Okay, be careful though. Without the fire, the family won't hold on for long, and tinder is pretty scarce. What's with the fu Why are they so obsessed with fire? Oh, we've got 100. That's fine. Also can't survive without drinking non-potable water, so it needs to be purified into potable water by boiling it. Notice the decrease of fire intensity in the process. Okay, right, so we need to boil water, but that takes out some of the heat. And we've got potable water, but we have one, or we have two non-potable waters. It'll take between 5 and 10% of our fire, but we will get some more drinkable stuff. And it took the whole 10, shit. Okay, well, what do you do? Oh, what have I done? This will be uncovered later in the game and is unavailable in the meantime. Okay, how about I just get out of here? Now it's the time to assign some tasks to your characters. There are still some supplies left in your shipwreck. Someone should take care of scavenging it. Okay. All the characters can be accessed from the sidebar and just need to be dragged and dropped into the activity slot into the camp. Oh, like here. Okay. Man, I really like the art style of this game. It's very cool. Um, let's take out who would be best. For now, drag Moira and drop her onto the search slot. I was going to say Moira. I mean, that fucking mullet is a bit atrocious. But still, who are we to judge? I haven't had a haircut in three months. Um, okay, so her scavenging is good shit, is it? Times 50, 10%, you know, 10 uses left. What does it all mean? Just take it. Great, we'll see later how to execute all the assigned tasks once everyone has something to do. Alright, so she hasn't started yet. Someone should take care of fetching some more water. Drag Bluda Wood and drop her onto the fetch water slot. Alright. Is this here? Oh, so you go right next to the barrels. Okay. You definitely need to upgrade your camp to be able to decently live there. The workshop enables the crafting activity and contains many ways to improve your camp. You can build new activity stages and also upgrade existing ones. All right, so there's a lot to learn here. Um, and these are the type of games where I, I sort of debate whether it's worth doing an in tub with. I think it is. It's just I always get worried how, how much we're going to be able to show in sort of a half hour slot. But I think this is a, you can get, if you have um, experience with management games, you can see where this is sort of heading. Uh, so the, to the craft slot. Oh right, so each of these denotes what area we we sort of teleport to. All right, so Eric, he's going to do some hammering. There you go. Choose a crafting plan. Some stations have additional options available. All right, so we need to click on the station. Remember to look for these when a new station has been built. Click on the workshop and choose a crafting plan. What do we want to make? Wood is a pretty basic resource, useful to keep the fire blazing and craft some more things. It's probably a good idea to build our lumber camp as soon as possible. All right. Water supplies, a rest area. Okay, so we want to go lumber camp and then rest area, and then crack on with this maybe? I don't know. The condition, oh, does the condition deteriorate over time? Oh, fuck me, there's a lot of stuff going on. Right, so it takes five wood and five rope to get a level one lumber camp. Okay, what's all this stuff? Are these sort of um, abilities or improvements you can unlock for the lumber camp? So it starts here, and you have diverging paths. Okay, let's get building. The workshop is currently damaged, uh, which is indicated by the colour of in the hammer icon on the station's HUD. Oh, I see. Oh, we do that from up here. Okay. Click here to have a global view of the camp condition and be able to repair the stations. Every station, apart from the shipwreck and the camp, deteriorate a bit every night and every time they're being used. Lower condition means lower efficiency. Be sure to repair them frequently, keep them at maximum output. Okay. So how do I repair you? What does it use? What are you using to repair it? I was using stones. 
Alright, there we go. We've got it up to 87, was it, or something? Okay. Last but not least, exploration. Remember the family just arrived on an unknown island. Who knows what they will find? Maybe even people. Let's put Carrie on a little exploring. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's got a trusty bow on her back. With all the sass, I'm sure she can uh, scare anyone off. Finally, all the characters have something to do. You just need to let the time flow and observe the outcome of each activity. Okay. So it'll take some water if she goes exploring. It's got a 36% chance of meeting something. And 90% area explored? I don't know. But let's do it. Thank you for getting the wood, Moira. Oh, and the rope. Very good of you. Fabric. Perfect. We can make a loincloth. Some raw fish. Beautiful. I wanted some sushi. She's getting fucking tons of stuff. Oh, what a hero. I don't even know what that is. She's a little bit tired, though. Okay. And they made her depressed. Seriously? Looking at all that stuff was depressing? And it works from left to right, I guess. So you should make a lumber camp now. Oh, shit. It's got to do it for another day. Does it make you depressed? Right. Are we getting water? That's what she's doing. I can't quite remember. Can we get a random encounter? Oh, I'd love that. Oh, we explored the meadow. 100%. Beautiful. Does it show up here? Oh, I only took up five fatigue. Looks like Carrie's just finished exploring a new area of the island. Let's have a look at what's there using the map. Okay. Click on the newly discovered area to open it. I really like how this game's laid out. I like the menus and the style. It's pretty cool. We're in the meadows. Every area contains exactly one thing you can interact with. Find it and click it to display all the available actions. Most of these are going to be used a fixed amount of time, and the red ones indicate you won't be able to do any other action afterwards. Please note that performing these actions won't affect the time of day, so you can do as many as you wish, and you can also choose to keep some for later. Right, so these are just like uh, random encounters, um, so it's going to be a one-off thing. So we're going to get some wheat that we can probably eat for a bit, yeah? But we won't be able to come back here. We're going to harvest the fuck out of the meat. I mean, the wheat. <laughs> Although some, some meat would be good. Who's got the best harvesting skill? Oh, we'll let, we'll let uh, what's her name, Carrie, do it? Yeah, okay. You search for the best looking sprouts to bring them back to camp. You grab a fistful of wheat and carefully cut the wheat at the ground. Once you have enough, you tie the bundles into sheaves. Damn, you're pretty good at farming. Yes, sweet wheat. Seeds, we can maybe grow our own. Oh, nice. And then we can't do nothing with this now, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, you could harvest it twice. That's what it meant by the times, too. Is it worth hunting here? Doing. Try and, like, shed the load? Spread the load? Who's better at hunting? 17. Oh, she's good at hunting as well. So she's going to be a little bit fatigued after all this, but I think it's worth it. The tall grass is the perfect spot to hunt for birds and small rodents. Lie in wait. Yes. That's better. You've got a 95% chance with stealth. Beautiful. You find the perfect spot to hide within the wheat patch. You'd rather comfy and undetectable. You wait for hours, but nothing moves. You wait so long, you end up falling asleep. All oh, right, but you've got less fatigue. You're woken up by a small rodent climbing over your face to reach the wheat. Praise the gods for your luck. You catch an animal and break its neck. Perfect. I mean, how lucky are we? Or how unlucky was that rodent, I guess? Raw meat. I like it. And we could probably harvest one more time. And because we lost some fatigue, we should probably do it. Being put to work, aren't we? So, yeah, it's just the same stuff. Okay. But we still come out of this with less fatigue than when we started. We've got a fuck ton of uh, seeds and shit. Alright, back to camp. Some items are usable, which means they can be used instantly on any character. These are very helpful in keeping them up and running, so you should definitely remember to use them. You can access the use item pop-up via the sidebar or by clicking directly on the character. Where's the use item? Okay, so we'll click on you. Use an item, what have we got? Try using an item on the character who needs it the most, or because you have a personal preference. It's up to you after all. Swallow a bit to be relieved of flatulence. <laughs> right, so you've got a bit of a dodgy belly, have you? Bloodwood. Uh, you've been shitting everywhere, all over our new camp. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea, all in the potable water. It's not good. Um, what does this do? Cures poor eyesight and refreshes the traveller's feet. Uh, that gets rid of sickness. She's 11% sick. And that gets rid of depression. Well, she's more sick than she is depressed. Or you could argue depression is uh, it's the same thing as sickness. But, whatever, we're going to take this. There you go. You're all done. You'll be shitting no more. 
In order to manage properly the family's well-being and efficiency, your most valuable asset is the character sheet, where you can find all the pieces of information you need about a character. You can access the character sheet via the sidebar or by clicking directly on the character. Okay. Fuck me, this is incredibly in-depth, isn't it? The health of a character is composed of five distinct parts. Alright, if we go to 100, they die. Jesus. If one of the four family members dies, the game's over. Gee, oh my god. Every character has different strengths expressed by their skills. Skills will increase over time when being used, okay? Grouped into four categories. I mean, is this, oh, this is pretty basic stuff for the genre. I'm sort of confident I'll be alright. Um, she got a healthy body trait. 25% to sickness increase. That sounds like a... Is that resistance, right? Stay at home mum. <laughs> Hates stones. <laughs> She's bulimic. Oh, fuck me. That's uh, not funny at all. Um, what else could we eat, though? Right, the health of a character is composed of five distinct parts. Yes, we know this. Let's get out of here. Every task on the camp is associated to a skill, and a character with a higher skill will yield better results. You should now be able to plan the next phase on your own, you think? Well, I don't know. Uh, leaving the characters on the current tasks. Okay, once everything's fine, just click the next button to end the phase. I mean, it all seems kind of fine. Her scavenging went up. She's got some more wood. She's going to be more tired, though. So you do it twice in a day, this bit, right? And we just kept on doing the same tasks. Oh, so Eric will finish building the lumber camp in a day. That's good to know. Oh, man. Oh, God, I hate how the fucking icon for depression is a noose. Jesus Christ. Okay, a lumber camp. Um, the island is covered in beautiful forests, so finding trees is not a problem, but cutting trees and bringing them back to camp is. Okay. But we need the lumber camp. Where does it go? Oh, it's here. Okay. Oh, you didn't get that tired from it. Good job, Eric. Yes, it. Get that water. That's right. Everyone's only like a third tired. You're exploring the forest now, aren't you? Yes, 100%. What can we get out of there? Okay, let's do it. Oh, the beach. Let's go check out the, uh, the forest. The sun is fading. Time for the family to take, make the final arrangements before the night, during which they will chat, drink some water, eat a bit and sleep. There's nothing set in stone, but a good rule of thumb is to have some food. Approximately one pot of water per person. Be sure that the fire intensity is high enough so they won't die during their sleep. I don't like how a fire signifies death. Just click on the end day button when everything is taken care of. Okay. Right, how can we assign, um, like, the water to people? We're going to go to the forest first. A tinder tree. Okay, that's the only thing here. Check the sap. Yes, come on, get the sap, you sack. Again, she's just the best at everything here. Check the, uh, check the sap, it's very sticky, with a nice light amber colour and a sugary smell. You lick the sap and it tastes amazing. Before you know it, you're tripping balls. You're stripped off naked and you're rolling around in the forest grass. Oh cool, it cured your depression. <laughs> this is as easy as that. Um, yeah, let's gather some for the rest of the people. We can lower their depression, I guess. Oh, fuck off. You leave it with the fermented producer delightful mead. You make a gourd out of the leaves to collect the sap. It's not as sticky as hopes. It leaks from everywhere. Goodbye, mead. Well, that took a terrible turn. Can't believe we failed on the 67%. Um, we're just going to do it all. Who's best at forestry? That would be uh, the weird one. There we go. The tree's not very good health, so finding good branches is tricky. But you're up to the challenge. You start selecting healthy wood. Good shit. Take it. Um... No, we're not going to get that, are we? If it's below 50, probably not. We already have enough wood gathering more would be a real pain. And last but not least, let's get the fungus. And again, that is her. Whose name I can't remember. You look at the fungus, puzzled, you can't remember what they're used for. You scratch your head, ah, it's tinder. Oh, fuck yeah, let's get some tinder for our fire. Fuck off. 67%. She failed it twice in a row. That's not how percentages work. You scratch the butt with a knife. Oh, what's the point in reading? Oh, we've got one tinder. Okay. And she injured herself. Right, back to camp. Um, I need to give water to people. And how do we go about this? Use an item? No. Alright, is it as easy as... Uh, check water supplies. Portable water stock. Should we make some water? Okay. And then we can put some... Yeah, we've got enough to get the fire up again. We could feed the fire. There we go, up to 100. Let's make some more water. Why not? Because we've got tons here. In fact, I might just go fucking full hog. This is probably bad, I know. <laughs> but I know what I'm doing. 
Okay, everyone's got water. Don't know if everyone has food. Let's just end the day and see what happens. God, they look fucking really sad. Okay, that's enough for today. Come everyone, it's time to grab a bite and try to sleep a little. You can start without me. I want to consolidate this shelter some more. You shouldn't overdo it, Eric. The shadows are already dancing with us. No, really, I can. I must do it. It's my fault if you... Not again, Eric. We already discussed that topic. You don't have to take the blame alone for what is happening to us. No, they shouldn't be losing love after that. She's showing solidarity with him. That's a good thing. But you heard like me, honey. Hang on. But you heard like me, honey? <laughs> okay, it sounds like a, a broken English flirting technique. Hey, you heard like me, honey. The men that burned our home were after me. They screamed, you heard like me, honey. You heard like me, honey. I'm the bastard. It's my burden to bear alone. Oh my god, come on. Cheer up. You got your family around you. You got a beautiful new untouched land. Why did they call you that? That's a story I'd like to hear if it weren't if we weren't close to dying for starvation, of course. We should make traps. The forest must be full of tiny meat on legs. And full of big dangers. I prefer you stay here with me. There's plenty to do at the camp. Oh, in your dreams, Mum. Oh, she thought that internally. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, everyone's falling out of love. My god, you could make a real sitcom out of this situation, couldn't you? <laughs> Uh, and you could probably just get away with calling it dead in Vinland. Okay, we have some axes, we have some bags. We're good to cut trees in the forest from now on. I'll let you take, I'll let you take care of that. Feed me honey, whatever the line was. I don't have the muscle for it. You can help me too, Moira. You must strengthen your body. You're too weak. Yes. That's it. Just insult each other. That's a good way to end your first day. I'm the sister who got the mind and you got the muscle. You also got the awful hair. And I got both. <laughs> you sure do, child. There we go. At least there's a bit of bonding going on. Cutting trees is tiresome, but hauling them back to camp even more so. Anyone can help, but don't overdo it if you're tired. You just end up hurting yourself. I just want to remind everyone that wood is our main resource for crafting and for keeping our fire. So we shouldn't overlook keeping a steady supply of wood. Okay, build your campfire. Perfect. Nice. But dehydrated. Did I not give... Oh, fuck. Every night the characters are most likely to be dehydrated, the more possible water you give them, the more likely to rehydrate. Okay, because so this is where you do it. Staying dehydrated means penalties, and dehydration will worsen after the next day. If they reach dehydrated four, four, and they're still not rehydrated that night, they will die. Drag and drop the allocated ration to each of them, and finally click on the water. Um, so, we can get away with going one. One, and one. And then she's alright. Okay, click on the next button. Shouldn't they be drinking mead? I don't want no shitty water. And what about feeding? Share the food. They also need to split whatever edible stuff they have. Different foods have different effects. Most of the food is perishable, so a good part of it will rot before the end of the night. It might be better off getting some of the most of the value right now. Drag and drop the food. Okay, same as the water. Still satisfied and proceed. Nice, this is all perishable. Um, the traits, you get 2% of nausea. 5% glass and the meat makes you greedy. I'd rather just go with that. That's it. Eat, my childs. Eat, my sweet, sweet Vikings. Oh, you're a hungry boy, aren't you, Eric? How about you take some sweet, raw meat? And looks like you could use a bit of meat on your bones. There we are, perfect. <laughs> oh, she got sick. Fucking. Okay, all the fatigue drops, although she's still knackered. The fire got fucked. Some foods have gone rotten. Okay. Can we use the rotten food for something? I don't know. But we made it through the day. Today's weather's sunny. Beautiful. Upcoming night. Night effects. That's alright. Well, you know what? As I mentioned earlier, I'm quite scared of how much you can show in a game in sort of a half hour video. But we got for our first day. I think we saw a lot of the mechanics at work here. Um, I guess as we go on, this will grow. We'll meet new people. There'll be more sort of social links we have to manage and stuff like that. I think I can fairly say I've given you a good idea of what Dead in Vinland is all about. I quite enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I, I find these management games oddly satisfying when everything's working like a well-oiled machine. The cogs are turning. No one's trying to eat each other or anything like that. It's good shit. So if you're into it, I think you'll enjoy this game. And although that music's a bit obtrusive in my eardrums right now, 
Well, fuck off with the shitty recorder. But regardless, if you enjoyed this video of Dead in Vinland, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we do In the Tubs with every Monday on the channel. We also have Let's Plays every other day, and we live stream twice a week. So there's plenty here for you. Please go ahead and subscribe. I can bring it all to you. If you've got any questions you want to raise? Is this up your street, up your alley? Do you like it? Have you always wanted to play a, a Viking management game? And let me know in the comments below, and I'll make sure I get back to you. All right, thank you so much. See you.